Hello. Today we're going to try a beverage. Today we're going to try Fanta. Dragon fruit. Zero sugar. It's a new flavor. It's 100% natural flavors. Um, I tried Fanta for what I think is the first time. Um, I think it was last week. Pina Colada. Uh, it was good. Wasn't entirely what I was hoping for. Um, I think Mountain Dew Baja Flash is a much better version of those flavors, pineapple and coconut. Um, dragon fruit. I had, um, oh gosh, what's it been? Probably 10, 11 years ago. Pepsi X. Um, and that was, uh, it was dragon fruit flavor. It was a dragon fruit Pepsi. Really good. Bought as much of that as I could find. Love that soda. Uh, so don't know much about Fanta and did not know that they offer zero sugar. It's, uh, definitely getting popular, that option. I've read, there's some marketing behind it, that... Uh, one of the reasons they created zero sugar drinks is because they found that men were averse to purchasing diet beverages because they thought the term diet was too feminine. So they created zero sugar, which is kind of like gender neutral, I guess you'd say. And also very much appeals to diabetics, zero sugar. Still not exactly healthy, <laughs> but you know. And people people truly love and enjoy a straight up diet, so it's never going away. I mean, there's people that drink Diet Coke specifically for that flavor and that that uh, balance of ingredients. It's my understanding that diet and zero sugar are both non-sugar; they just differ in which artificial sugar they use like some use sucralose some use aspartame so it's six half dozen the other but there's a slight difference because of the type of artificial sweetener so it's enough that there's there's always going to be diet drinkers and then there's still going to be you know zero sugar drinkers diet's not going away all right that's not why you tuned in we're here to drink this fanta zero sugar dragon fruit Enough rambling, let's get to it. And here comes the pour. Don't know enough about dragon fruit to tell you if this is accurate as far as the scent. It's not unappealing. It smells okay. Hmm. I know it's zero sugar, but I don't taste much. Mm. Um, boy, that's dull, whatever that is. I'm out for two on Fanta right now. I'm not really picking up what they're putting down. Um, hmm. I'm gonna call this one a draw. It's not good enough to recommend. It's not bad enough to not recommend. It's just, it's just kind of there. You know, it's like air. It's just there. So, kind of a cliffhanger. <laughs> kind of an unfulfilling ending. That's the way it goes sometimes. Um. Let me know what I'm missing out on, though. You know, if this is if this is your drink of choice, let me know what you love about it. 
But I'm curious to know uh, if you're a regular Fanta drinker, what flavor is your favorite? What do you think I should try? Um, thanks for watching. Thank you um, for subscribing. If you subscribe, uh, like the video, uh, share it with a friend or enemy. We'll see you next time.